YouTube. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself because words only hurt whenever they are true. If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. But can you do me a favor? Go ahead and hit the notifications button right now and follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about signs that she is intimidated by you and your confidence. All right, now, the type of guy that I would be talking to today is going to be the guy who's actually outside. A lot of you are introverts, all right, but you're not active introverts. You're an introvert that just sit at home next to the computer all day and you have friends that are online, you live your life online, and you barely go outside. You give yourself a reason not to go outside. But today I'm going to be talking to the introverted person who still may be active, who still may have to get up and go to work every day, who is still chasing dreams. He's chasing opportunities and he's outside. He's still living a life and getting life experiences. And the reason why I'm specifically talking to that type of guy is because that's the type of guy that's going to be intimidating. All right. All the other type of dudes don't are not really intimidated to her because they say the same thing over and over and over again. Most women are coming across the same guy, just a different face. But when it comes to the guy who's active and who's outside, everything changes because his aura changes. Let's get to it. First, you look unapproachable. That's what becomes intimidating. And the reason why you look unapproachable is because she doesn't excite you as much. When you outside and you on the grind, especially if you work for yourself, nine times out of 10, you're always in survival mode because you have to come up with new ideas to move forward. So even when you're not working, you're still working. When you get around females, you're not as hyper to look at a big booty. You're not as hyper to see big titties. Why? Because when you're in the grind, you start morphing into a different person. Most people are not going to be this confident, multi-millionaire, successful guy because they're not going to form their self into that body. They're going to stay the same person that they are right now for the rest of your life. But when you start to get outside and get you some experiences and you realize how serious it is that you have to lock in and actually block out women, then when you come around, you're going to be intimidated because she's not going to, she, you're going to look unapproachable. You're going to look like you're always serious about about something and a prime example of that is like 50 cent when 50 cent walks around he demands respect if you look at like someone like suge knight suge knight was another one that demands respect same thing with jay-z if you look at some of the most powerful people in the world they always look unapproachable because they're always keeping a poker face all right people that's that's about their money and people that ain't playing no games with life they always have a poker face and when you have a poker face, it's actually hard for a woman to read you because they're so used to men coming up to them, smiling, acting a certain way. Hey, how you doing? Giving compliments. Guys typically are always approaching women with a smile on their face. So most men are going to always be approachable. But when you lock in and you get in grind mode, you will always have a, per, a, a poker face. And the reason why you'll have the poker face, seriously, is because you just don't have time for games. That's why we tell a lot of you guys, when you get on your purpose, things change. Your energy change because you morph and you morph into being the guy that you want to be instead of sitting back fantasizing about it and women can read it. Next, she tells you it, but she's joking around. What do I mean she tells you it, but she's joking around? She may say, oh, you look serious. Oh, you look like something's wrong. Oh, you look like this. When a woman looks at you and says, oh, you look like this, and she's joking around, she's really intimidated. She's just trying to find a light way to tell you something. You can have short conversations with a woman, but you can't be a goofball with it. What do I mean by it? You have a lot of guys out here, they'll have a poker face, they're luring the woman, but the woman would be able to come into their life and throw them completely off game with just conversation. Next thing you know, he went from a quiet, assertive guy to now he's conversating the most. He's saying a lot. Now he's ready to go do stuff. He asking her if she got a boyfriend. 
So she went from being mysterious, trying to figure out who he is, to now cracking a joke with him, and he folds immediately. All right, when you're unable to fold, boy, you are gonna look very, very, very intimidating to her. But the truth is, she's gonna be attracted to it if you play it right. So in that situation, if you have a girl jokingly telling you that you look unapproachable or jokingly telling you that you may look mean, she is interested. Just talk slow, but that will get them. Next, this is a given one. She's gonna avoid eye contact. All right, most of them are going to do that. And you would notice, especially a lot, when, you, when you're combative with women or you and a woman is in disagreement, the first thing she does is look at you in your eye. See, a woman's gonna look at you in your eye whenever she argues with you. It's because that's how she breaks men down. That's how she lure them in. If a woman wanna turn you on, she knows exactly how to dip her head low and look at you in your eyes and look all sensitive and vulnerable. And then you, there you go. You, you get all googly eyed with it. With a woman's eyes, they typically can't control men. Why you think like a lot of strippers look the same? A lot of girls who turn on that sexuality, they all do it with eyes. So whenever a woman cannot make eye contact with you, she doesn't have you figured out yet. So she doesn't know which character to be whenever she looks in your eyes because, you know, because she's scared that when she goes to look in your eyes and do what she feels like she needs to do, she's gonna get rejected. So she's not gonna look into your eyes because she's not that confident. She ain't confident in saying, all right, I'm just gonna flirt with these guys real quick so I feel good about myself. Or this is the guy I'm gonna try to actually pursue to get him to pursue me. She don't know which direction she's gonna go with you. So she don't look at you in your eyes at all. But if you stop, and you look at how a woman argues with a man. Next time you see a woman being combative or talking down to a man, always notice she looks at him in his eyes. Next, she acts like she misunderstands you. What do I mean? What I mean is when a girl is intimidated by you, she's going to become very combative. Everything that comes out of your mouth, she's going to combat it. She's going to want to debate it. She's going to want to have to prove herself. Matter of fact, in a lot of cases, she's going to try to finish your sentences. That's the worst. The worst thing you could do is be around a woman who's intimidated by you, but she's up for the challenge. She wants to prove herself. So she becomes combative. Everything that comes out of your mouth comes out of her mouth. She got another alternative to what you're saying. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, she has a better way to do it. She has a better way to say it. She has a better idea. This is what she learned. This is what she thought. That's all intimidating. And the reason why she's doing that, um, let me let you know. She's intimidated by you, but she's not interested. All right? So understand, when a woman is interested, she's only going to be combative for like one time. But after that, she's not going to be on a steady combative. When she's steady combative, and it's combative, and it's combative, and it's combative, and she keeps going, she does. she's not interested in you. She just wants to break you. She wants to see how far you can go. Why? Because she's intimidated by you. She knows that she's in charge of the room. She's afraid that you're going to be in charge of the room. She's afraid that you can take the power away from her that she already has over the room. And the reason why I say that is because what a lot of you guys don't know is that when a woman walks into a room, she reads the whole room immediately. Every woman does it. It don't matter what they walk into. They read the whole room immediately. Men don't necessarily do that. Men, if they not on top of their game, they can walk inside of a room full of a whole bunch of people that's going to do them wrong and they not see it because they're, they're looking at life differently. So women, once she reads the room and she sees where her power is at, but she sees that there may be a powerful man around, she's going to become very combative because alpha men and alpha women don't get along. Next, she's intimidated by the fact that you do not need attention from others. All right. Most people nowadays always need attention from somebody. So they're always snapping photos. With me, I snap photos, but let's be honest. If you're following me on Instagram, you may have seen one picture of me, myself, physically. You see nothing but my car, for real, for real, 
because that's what my Instagram is about. It's just strictly for my car. So understand that a lot of guys out here, they always need attention. They're always doing things for attention. They're always acting like women. Why? Because they have a hyena mindset. Remember, we've been talking a lot about lions and hyenas. A lot of you guys are hyenas because your mom's your role model, grandma's your role model, your auntie's your role model, your older big cousin, she your role model. When you talking to your mom every day, your grandma every day, and your aunties every day, you would be broke and emotional for the rest of your life, which is going to make you needy. A man that ain't needy. A man that's out here claiming his own territory, going his own way. He forgets to call mom. He ain't talked to grandma in a while. Aunties are her third child. He didn't even see the he didn't even see the other child yet. Why? Because he's out here claiming his own territory. When you're out here claiming your own territory and you don't need attention from nobody else because you out here making it work, she's gonna be intimidated by it. Why is she gonna be intimidated by it? Because we live in a world now where, where, where most guys are part of hyena clans, which means that they're led by women. And she's looking at it like, I can't lead him. I can't boss him around because he's running around and he's creating a legacy. The only thing that a woman's gonna do is run around and play survival tactics. That's why most guys that are close to your mom, auntie, and grandma, you either become a slave, working the same job forever, jumping from job to job, or you just become some little runt that just can't make it. That's typically the life of a male hyena when he's part of a clan. If a woman is intimidated by you nowadays, just understand, you're actually, you're actually a man. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Hopefully a lot of you guys don't take it personal. And if you take it personal, get up and get off your ass. I ain't say nothing good. I ain't said nothing good. This is Anthony Spade. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.